serenaders. Kick things off with a old medley of Hawaiian hula's here. Just got back from the beach. Actually, we didn't. Haven't been to the beach for about five years. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Bathroom now. It's called singing in the bathtub. Sing on there, good. Okay. Yeah. Hey, what is coming out of there? Thank you. 
to the alcoholic in the band, Tony Chocolate Milk Marcus. Do our little number for temperance here. It's a sad story and every word of it is true. Or at least most of it anyway. Or one or two of the words. The gin done done it. I want to take my gal to a social dance But I didn't have no seat in my pants She gave me four dollars and she brought me in I took the four dollars and I bought some gin The gin done done it Oh, doggone it The gin made a fool out of me I tore my hair and I walked the streets I wanted to whoop everyone I mean. Along come John, my best friend. I cut his head till it was a sin. Gin done done it, oh dog on it. Gin made a fool out of me. To convert her soul Two minutes later The preacher come in She stopped rolling with me Started rolling with him Oh, the gin done done it Oh, dog on it The gin made a fool out of me Six months and clear your head. The gin done done it. Oh, dog on it. Gin made a fool out of me. Oh, we thank you. We're going to turn our attention to the to the nobler aspect of man here, and who better to do it? Than our own resident angel, Bob Brosman, singing about the subject near and dear to all our hearts, home sweet home. Thank you. 
He's only six years old. Isn't that amazing? Now we'd like to present our double-edged sound.
for an old rag called the black and white rag. Now from twin saws to twin mandolins. In this band you see duets on instruments you don't often see one of. It's the buddy system, right? One guy covers for the other. Exactly. We're counting this out in five or what? One, two. Hawaiian stomp coming up now. Oh heck, let's dedicate this to Rick Maharna. What? Uh, Rick Springsteen. Rick. A guy I met ten minutes ago. We're old buddies. And, uh, <laughs> and he says a fan of uh, Hawaiian music. He lived in Hawaii for a while. And uh, just, well, heck, let's dedicate this. Sorry, I can't remember your last name, Rick, but uh, Maharo. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Something like that. So it's called uh, Hano Hanale. Right. Sung by our boy from the islands, Bob Rosman. A lot of people ask me if I'm from the big island. I tell them, no, I'm actually from the long one.
Ladies and gentlemen, we carry around a whole bunch of products to sell, which uh, our credit manager will be discussing shortly. But uh, right now we're going to do a medley of television theme songs, some of which go back to about 1950. And uh, we have a free uh, prize uh, for anyone who can guess all five tunes, or is it four? Four of them? Or I guess it's four of them. And it's a uh, legalized cannibalism bumper sticker. <laughs> Have a winner. Is there a winner in the audience? Okay, the first tune. <laughs> Sorry. Roll out. 86. Okay, I guess nobody wins the legalized cannibalism bumper sticker. But we have a second prize if you guess three of the songs. It's a kill them bumper sticker. So the second one. Nope. 
right? The commercial was Gillette, and all the youngsters know what the what that one was. The second one's a toughie. Guess we keep the bumper stickers. Well, we've had those same bumper stickers for the last 12 years. We're not really worried. <laughs> Okay, that was number three, number four, you know, the, the island. And number one was, here's Kitten, here's Princess, Robert here's Bud. Dunn, Gene Wyatt, Eleanor Donahue. Billy Come on, Gray, you know that one. Lawrence. Number two is, say goodnight, Gracie. It's only from a certain period, though. Better known as Building a Nest for Mary, I think. Now we're going to do an old tune uh, made certainly famous by Junie Cobb and his Grains of Corn. 1927 called Yearning in Blue. Pouring out his tortured soul to you there. Now I'd like to turn things over to the credit manager of Sutco Industries. Well, we haven't been up here much, so we have high hopes of selling a lot of merchandise tonight. <laughs> Mainly what this band is all about is not music, it's products. And it seems only fitting to start with records since we do play music. So, Tony, would you hold up our first album here? That was back in 1974. Cheap 
Suit Serenaders Volume 1. Then, of course, came Cheap Suit Serenaders Volume 2. Hold that up, will you? Now. And, of course, Cheap Suit Serenaders Volume 3. And holding. Two and holding. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Stick around because the next set is science fiction, new wave, nude rock. 